On our most recent adventure together, I had the opportunity to try Star Wars Secrets of the Empire, hosted by The Void at Disney Springs. Now, if you're hoping to try this experience at Disney Springs in the future and want to be completely surprised and shocked at all of what there is to see and do, I wouldn't recommend watching this video. Stop it now because I do not want to ruin it even a little bit for you. I'm not going to tell you the nitty gritty details, but I am going to give you some more of the general idea of what you actually see and experience. Star Wars Secrets of the Empire is a virtual reality experience. It was truly amazing. You basically put on a helmet and you walk around a world in real life that you cannot see. These kind of experiences do exist all around the United States. There are different areas that you can try this and there are even some home stations like the Oculus and several things that you can do at home, but nothing was quite as immersive as this experience. The experience actually begins at home. You have to start by making a reservation as far out as possible. Now when I went to Disney Springs I got there a little bit early and I was kind of hoping that I could go you know, earlier than the 10.30 reservation that I had. Sure enough, that wasn't possible. They only have a certain number of reservations and they all fill up, at least when I was experiencing it, and they have certain people who are there at certain times so it doesn't get overcrowded. So I just asked and they're not able to accept my reservation early, that's okay. I've got about 45 minutes to go before it's my turn to go into the void. When you first walk in, you scan the QR code that you got when you first paid for the reservation and then you get a wristband with another QR code on it. Then you stand in two sets of lines. The first line is after that first QR code to wait with everyone else. Then you go into the first room and you choose the color of your stormtrooper. It's gonna be good. Now when you're thinking the color of your stormtrooper, Michael, that is awesome. Not quite, it's just for the side piece. You just get to choose this little piece of armor there. The rest of the Stormtrooper is in all white. After that, you stand in the next line and they group you in teams of four. After your team is assembled, you will walk into a staging area where you'll basically put on a backpack and a helmet. They'll show you how to tighten everything, making sure that everything is secure to your body. I just got permission to film back here. You can't see anything. You can hear some clicking going on. I'm very excited. We just got to choose our Stormtrooper. We scanned our bands, chose our colors, and now we're in this waiting area. We're about to be suited up in there with a special uh, suit to you know, feel what's going on. It's a VR experience. I've never done a VR experience before, so I'm really excited about it. Now the backpack that you put on is a little bit heavy. It's not too, too heavy, but for those younger adventurers, I think that it might be something to consider. You know, usually I think it'd be fine. I saw younger kids playing, they're having a great time, but if you have the extra small ones, sometimes it can be a little bit heavy, at least something to think about. After you are prepped and set, your backpack's on, your helmet's on, the visor isn't down yet, but you're walking around, you basically walk into a room that I can only describe as an adult human mouse maze. You know in the labs where they have the mice trying to figure out where the cheese is through the maze and they're trying to figure that out? Imagine that, but for humans. So very large gray walls. You can't see over at all. They're probably maybe eight to nine feet high. And then you're just in a room. You're in that room. You put your visor down and the magic begins. They turn everything on and you, you really feel like you are a stormtrooper. You can look at your hands and they have the armor on it. You look around. You can see your colleagues are all stormtroopers. You look at the walls. You can touch the walls and they're actually they don't interact with you but you touch it and it's a solid surface and it's a solid surface in your visor as well it's so hard to describe but it is truly amazing now I'm not gonna ruin the story itself but you are a stormtrooper you go around you walk on these things that you think you're gonna fall off of you're in elevators you feel the heat from some of these experiences you have a blaster you're shooting at other stormtroopers and other things I'm not gonna tell you it was Amazing. One of the most exciting parts for me, when we were all kind of trapped in a room and one of our colleagues was trying to, you know, figure out a code to the door and they were actually pressing real buttons without, you know, again, they're looking in the visor, but they're pressing buttons in real life. I'm trying to explain it, but you can imagine how, how difficult it is to describe. Like you see in the visor, but you're doing things in real life. When our fellow teammate was trying to figure out the code, me and the two other teammates were trying to shoot the stormtroopers from outside the door. So there was a doorway, we were like shooting out from behind the doorway. It was awesome. I absolutely loved this experience. It was, it was unbelievable, like nothing I have ever done before. Epic, <laughs> truly epic. That was just beyond awesome. I have a few small recommendations, but that doesn't mean that I didn't love it. The first recommendation, I'd make it a little bit less expensive. If it was maybe $25 instead of, you know, over 30, I would more likely do it a second, third, and fourth time rather than maybe like one more time with family. You know what I mean? So like a little less expensive, but I do know it costs a lot to make and design and all 
all that. I know, I know, but maybe over time the price will come down. The second suggestion I have, make it just a little bit longer. Three, maybe five minutes longer, I feel like would be perfect, but I know, you know, it's an experience, it's something special, and when you're having a lot of fun, you don't want the fun to end. The only other suggestion I have is for Disney to change it up so that you see kind of like a score, like how well you did, your accuracy, something like that. I feel like it would be a lot of fun and just kind of add to the experience a little bit. I am truly looking forward to the next experience I have at Star Wars Secrets of the Empire. I'm hoping to bring my dad, sister, and brother to it with me. We're going to have a lot of fun. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried virtual reality experiences? You're really looking forward to trying this one. And if you have tried it, what did you think? Do you have any other suggestions or do you think what I mentioned does make a lot of sense? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.